Okay, so once you've crafted a cover letter and resume, it's time for me to show you how to make a LinkedIn profile with no working experience. Now, there are three reasons why you should do so. Firstly, using LinkedIn is a great way to build a personal brand and thus gain trust and credibility in your field of expertise. Secondly, Recently revealed data shows that if you include a link in your resume to a comprehensive LinkedIn profile, your chances can increase by 71% for getting a call back. And at last, LinkedIn is a search engine, just like Google. So if you know what keywords you should and should not include, your profile becomes more visible to the public, thus leading to more career opportunities. That being said, Let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've literally removed all of my content and connections for the sake of this video. And the first thing I would like to do is upload a LinkedIn profile picture. Now we first need a picture where I look directly at the camera and half of my body is showing. Enter remove background in the search engine. Upload a suitable picture into this free tool to make the background transparent. Now once that's done, we click on download or download HD and go to another free tool called Canva. Now to get access, you first need to register an account. Now once you are up and running, we click on the create a design button. Now the recommended dimensions for a LinkedIn profile picture are 400 times 400 pixels. But if you want to avoid losing pixels when zooming in, you'd better pick 1600 by 1600. Okay, let's upload the transparent picture. And while it's uploading, I would like to search for some nice background designs in the Elements tab. Now there are many cool options you can choose from, but I would like to pick a simple element and change the color code over here. Next up, we include the transparent image. Now if you right mouse click it, you can choose whether to bring the element or image to the front and vice versa. All right, that looks fine. And then we download it as a PNG file. Now go to the LinkedIn profile page, click right over here and upload the picture. Save the photo and there we go. Now let's upload a LinkedIn background as well. Now before you do so, think about the story you want to tell and be creative in how you choose to convey it. Now Georgia, for example, she used a banner for sharing her personal statement, which is great for personal branding. And she also matched the color combination of her profile picture and banner. Now another great example is this one from Aaron Cordova. The banner illustrates his affinity with coding. Now Canva also offers some beautiful free LinkedIn banners. Just enter LinkedIn banner and many examples with the right dimensions pop up. Now pick one out or upload a different one and use the elements, text and style step to make it unique. For this video, I focus on my affinity with web development. Okay, now go back to LinkedIn and add the background image. Okay, and apply. Now, when you lack experience in general, then I would advise you to do some free training courses on, for example, Microsoft.com, Code Academy, or go to Skillshare to learn the basics in your field of interest. Okay, so that brings us to the LinkedIn intro section. Now click on this pencil icon to get access. Right here, you need to enter your name and surname. And then you need to enter a headline, which is the most visible section in your LinkedIn profile and key for making a positive impression, informing viewers about your affinity or area of expertise. But it is also a place to put an emphasis on keywords that potential employers seek for. So we start off with the job title or position you strive for. Be transparent about it and use words like junior or entry level. Now, if you're a recent graduate or still a student, you can add a LinkedIn headline that looks like these ones. Okay, now click on save and it is added to your intro. Go back because over here you can add your educational background. Start with the school or university, your degree, field of study, and enter the start, end, or expected date. Now add some relevant extracurricular activities or achievements, but don't include irrelevant information like the kindergarten or junior school you've attended. Oh wait, Go back because I also want to enable this checkbox so the educational background is added to our intro section. Do so if it is worth mentioning. An extended version of the education section is added at the bottom of the profile page. Now, a common mistake users make is entering the wrong location settings. For example, if you study in New York but eventually want to live and work in San Francisco, then you'd better enter the US and San Francisco's postal code and select for example, the Bay Area. Now by doing so, 
your profile pops up to hiring managers that seek candidates in that area. Okay, click on save and it is now added to your LinkedIn intro section. Now as for the contact information, it is important to create a unique profile URL for higher rankings. Click this drop down menu to view your profile, edit public profile and URL, click the pencil icon and change it accordingly. And once finished, you click on save. After that, we need to include a LinkedIn summary section. Click on add section, about, summary. Now, there are two scenarios possible. Number one being a career change. Now, you are someone with a previous career, but want to switch into another market or industry. But then you need to show that your skills are transferable or come up with some sort of narrative to make this sudden career change seem logical. Or you are in the early stages of establishing a career, which can be used for a student or a recent graduate. In both examples, I chose a short and sweet summary, which is a smart choice for professionals in conservative or technical industries. I've included the job title I want to be found on, years of experience, industry keywords, and some hard skills. Now, these influence the searchability of your LinkedIn profile. Now, although it is important to use keywords, don't go overboard. LinkedIn's algorithm can tell when you are trying to game the system. Also, notice how I talk in first person and keep the number of passwords and adjectives like strategic, experienced, passionate, expert, etc. to the minimum. Furthermore, those who read your summary are most likely curious to find more about you. And that's when these links come in handy. Okay, next up we have the featured section. Now you can use this section to showcase some samples of your work. I haven't created any relevant LinkedIn posts. So let me click on links and enter a YouTube link to my previous video about making a resume for those with no experience. Now this description is obviously not suitable, but I just want to show you what this will look like on my profile page. Now it certainly gives your profile some credibility and exposure to those who come across your profile. Now the background section is also divided into subsections. I obviously won't go too much into detail about the work experience, but I want to add some additional educational information. Now let's say you've attended a course or program. Now enter the start and end date. And in the description, you briefly explain what the program entails. So the duration, intensity of the course, the location, and list the results underneath. Furthermore, use action verbs to make the sentence concise, to the point, and understandable. Okay, that brings us to the skills section, where you need to add some relevant skills. Now, for those that are actively job searching, I would suggest you to strategically use keywords that relate to the position you are after. So start off by copying the vacancy description. Go to the free word cloud generator, paste it right in there, and click on generate cloud. Now, sprinkle some of these keywords to match and improve the searchability of your profile. Now, LinkedIn members with five or more skills listed are 33 times more likely to get messaged by recruiters and receive 70 times more profile views. And that's because the LinkedIn's algorithm rewards users with complete profiles with better positions in the search engine result pages. But remember, the key here is to stay relevant. The skills section should substantiate your headline and summary. A long list of skills can start to feel unwieldy and doesn't encourage endorsements for a specific skill set of yours. Okay, so there are still some smaller sections left to optimize your profile. Take for example the accomplishments section where we can add some courses. Or what about adding some interesting projects you've been working on lately? Perhaps you've developed a website in your spare time. Now you can use these things to show your initiative and skill set. Or what about the additional information section, which is basically requesting LinkedIn connections for recommendations. And these will then be featured on your profile. And if you want an interest section at the bottom of your profile page, you simply follow some companies or people that inspired you and relate to your professional background. And by doing so, you can fully use LinkedIn to tell a story and build a personal brand. Now, LinkedIn is much more than a professional network. It is also a social network to get involved and make yourself known by taking part in LinkedIn groups that focus on your areas of interest. Now, you might learn from others or some HR managers or other professionals may find your contributions interesting, which could lead to interesting career opportunities. 
And lastly, I also want to emphasize the importance of configuring your profile settings to let hiring managers know that you are open to work. Now simply click on open to, finding a new job, and add the information to your profile. Okay, so before I end this video, let me know if this tutorial was informative by leaving an emoji with glasses underneath. Or perhaps you have a question, then let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Now don't forget to check out my other videos on making a cover letter and resume. You can find the links in the description. If this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.